Hi, I'm John C. Riley, And I'm Will Farrell. It's a live Create Your Own Caption contest, yeah. just like in the magazine. The first one. Alrighty. So it looks like we had, there's a cocktail party there. These people and are talking. He has right. a rocket attached to him. Back. Maybe yeah. he's talking to her about like, I don't really want to be at this party. I have an escape plan. I think I'm going to bail. I think I'm going to take off. I think I'm going to take off. That's a pretty good one. What about, I don't mean to brag, but I was the most popular guy in my high school. <laughs> it, listen, ladies, it's not rocket science. <laughs> That's good. What? How about this one? Yeah. Want to see something cool? Yeah. Count backwards from 10. <laughs> something like about Merrill Lynch? A bull market. I want to know why this guy's ass is hanging out. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, these cartoons had to be drawn with an idea in mind, right? I almost think like I've divined through intuition a couple of the actual intended quotes for the cartoons. Show them what we got, Will. Yep. I know you hate it when we're in the red, but things are improving, sir. It's like Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Or Vin Scully. Okay, well, what we're what seeing here, in case you don't have the gift of sight, is... It's a baseball game. The man sitting at a podium, talking on a microphone. The batter looks surprised, right? The, the catcher looks surprised. The speaker is speaking. So whatever he's saying, they're surprised to hear it. You got something? Surprise me, Will, please. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I can't take the silence in this room. Yeah. I'm like getting full body flop sweat. <laughs> That's why I need your vote outside ball two. <laughs> so we got two people here. Yep. They're on a couch on their ceiling in a very stuffed full apartment. The dog even is wondering what the hell is going right, on. Right, right. There you go. I'll write it. We'll do it live. Here you go. See, I told you it would fit. <laughs> I often do play this caption contest myself in the magazine. I'm the loyal reader of the New Yorker. An office a cubicle. cubicle. I got one okay. man down. Yep. Person clearly dead and at their workstation. These guys are commenting on it. Okay, here's what yep. I got. Yep. I don't think we should wait any longer for Jerry's report. This is this a sidecar or an alternate? I'm gonna use Jerry too, since okay. we've established a character, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry? It's Taco Tuesday, you coming? Oh wait, you're dead. <laughs> These are going right to the Smithsonian once we're done. We have a bunch of magicians. It looks like he's brought his date. It could be a sinister kind of thing. I think he could be saying like, don't even try to run, you'll never escape. Something like that. <laughs> so that's a little dark for the New Yorker. Right? Even, you know, for intellectual types. Like, oh, 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 oh. I told you I came from a family of magicians. Don't worry, they don't have any friends either. They're magicians. What do you think? You got anything better? Um, uh, um. We are seeing, looks like a living room setting. It's two elephants. There's a older, more parental elephant, and there's a younger, more, uh, I'm assuming adolescent elephant, on their laptop computer. It looks like the older elephant has walked into the room and has said the following. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off that fucking computer before I ram this cane up your ass. <laughs> and what parent has not wanted to say wanted that? Wanted to say that. Well, I've been John C. Riley. This is Will Farrell. And we and have tried to caption some cartoons for you today. Try it yourself at home. Yeah. It's not as if easy you, as it looks. <laughs> if you think you're so smart, <laughs> you probably are. This is probably the smartest audience we've ever done something for. So.